Hi there, and welcome to another video blog post on ChrisRyan.ca. I'm over here with a friend of mine, Ian, and he's one of the folks here at Sunshine Renewable Energy uh, over here in Dartmouth. And I've known uh, Sunshine Renewable Energy now for several years. I've yeah. referred a good amount of clients uh, when they're asking about, you know, how can I make my home more efficient? How can I get air conditioning and so on? And everybody's been very, very happy. Yeah, it's a great service to offer your clients to help us, you know, show them how they can save money. We really appreciate it, and I mean, you know, like I, like I said to you before, your clients, uh, we, the people we've sent you have been very happy as well, so yeah. Awesome, thank you. So the topic that we're going to be talking about today is a very, is a typical two-story house, and a lot of the time they have um, uh, oil-fired uh, hot water baseboard yeah. heaters. So if someone were to buy one of those or they were already living in one, what would be a good scenario in order to help them out save some money in? Sure. So in, in a two-story home, you know, the most challenging part is always that top floor. It's generally where the bedrooms are, a little more cut up. So what we tend to focus our energy on is where does the, uh, the family, the homeowner, spend most of their time. It's usually either on the main level where the living dining kitchen is, yeah. or sometimes in a rec room area if there's some, a finished basement, right? Sure. So a ductless mini split heat pump is usually the ideal solution in that main living area, and that's you know, I'd say 75% of the time on the main floor. Right. Um, that can save you, you know, you can't save any more than you're spending, so it depends what you're spending, but it can save you somewhere between uh, 35 to up to 50% of your heating costs, right? Um, and when I say that, the other important thing to look at when you've got a home, two-story two or other with oil, hot water, baseboard, is you also have your uh, hot water in on that oil. Bill. Of course. So often, yeah, so oftentimes we are also looking at educating homeowners on how they can take that hot that oil, uh, hot water off their furnace and move to an electric scenario. Right. And that can actually save them uh, anywhere between 300 and $500 a year, depending on how many people are in the house. So, Is that right? Yeah. There you go. So that was an example of two story. Uh, we've done some other videos here uh, with regards to uh, a split entry with 200 amp service electric baseboard and, and all that type of thing. So basically when I'm out showing houses or when I'm thinking about listing a house, I'm always thinking about uh, energy, uh, you know, how to save money, how to position the house. So is it, it is pitched and listed as uh, an energy efficient home. And if sure. it's not, then I usually ask some advice about how it could, it could become so. So, no, that's great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris.